Well, good morning. Um, this is my second morning here at Port Elizabeth and I'm looking forward to today's trip. We're going to Addo Elephant National Park so I can get an idea of what the animals look like before I actually go out on the hunting safari. Okay, garlic bread. bread. Okay. Nice green salad, lamb chops, sausage. Okay. Hopefully beef sausage. Send it around. Beef sausage. Yeah, beef sausage. <laughs> my new home for several days. Yeah, so this is where we will have breakfast, lunch, wow. dinners, and we have a lovely view. We start the adventure by checking the rifle after all the travel we've done. This is a 300 Winchester Magnum Ruger Model 77 that was a gift of my 
brother and sister-in-law in the year 2000. So we're extending the family connection. Hopefully, we'll also continue the family accuracy. <laughs> Uh, the first shot is just above it, so it's out of the circle, so I'll definitely say come down. Would you like to shoot from the sticks one shot? I think so, especially with the wind. I want to see what that feels like. <laughs> it's a little bit low. Oh, show me. Dettol. Probably burn a little bit, didn't it? What is it? Sure. Uh, that's an alcohol. Uh, that's alcohol. alcohol so, yeah. yeah. Anything else? Let me know. No, I think we're good. Yeah, I saw when he hit, it came picked up. Yeah. yeah, I saw. I saw when his head snapped back. Yeah. I thought, oh, that one's smarter. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so we've seen a big herd of Blesbach. We'll go after them and see if Dan can be successful on his first African animal. So let's see. Big Impala Ram. I think okay. let's leave the blaze park. I don't see them. Let's see if we can get that Impala Ram. Okay. is standing 150 yards behind this tree, this bush, facing us. We're going to go slowly. I want to check the Impala looks much better than the Bless Buck. Okay. One standing far left, standing broadside. 
Hit him solid. Watch him, watch him. You hit him very good. Watch him, watch him. You hit him perfect, I could see. Let's go. You can reload for me. Let me tell you, that's a very, very big impala uh, ram. Buy him more round. <laughs> Congratulations. Look his, at that. His location will make it hard to do the hero shots, <laughs> but that's all part of the adventure. And I found him. Yeah, you found him. Whoa. <laughs> Well, look at the split, how yeah. cool. Yeah, that's what, look at the, the mass. Look at all the secondary growth. Nice and wide, nice steps. Uh, this is a magnificent. I Bacana. wasn't sure how to judge. Yeah. So when you said it's a good one, yeah, good okay, good. that's good enough. The last bite. And then what month's high? Nice looks high. What month's high? Yeah, that what we do, Dan. You need one for your cap as well. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. What we do, Dan, <sighs> is it's got a little bit of the animal's blood on. And then that in the harsh cap. There we go. And then the salute, take your hand off. The salute is vitamin tile. I wish I could remember the last that you did with the pig. Weidman's dunk. Dunk. Weidman's tile. Weidman's dunk. Good shot. It's a beautiful ring. Then, Opa, yeah, <laughs> it started off actually stalking Blesbach, but when I saw this Impala Ram, there's no way I'm leaving him behind. So congratulations on your first African animal, That's this magnificent Impala. I know it's a dream of yours, you just said I was 59 yes. years in the making, and you could um, share it with your brother, who's been with Yanni Otto Safaris for many, many, many years. And I'm so glad you're finally here, and congratulations on the magnificent Impala. And I'm really seeing out on the another 25 days ahead of us hunting in our beautiful country. African tradition, congratulations on your first African animal. <laughs> well done. Guys, just on that, Opa, well done on your first African animal, congratulations. Bless you all for what you've done to make that happen. And a pleasure, first of many. Yes. First of, yeah, first, first, first of many. many. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning, this is our second day of hunting. Beautiful morning, the sun's not quite up yet, which is the timing that we were hoping for. So, 
some of our uh, list of animals might be coming out. Uh, with Christ's wonderful help and Martin's backup, success is just over the ridge. This is where we're baiting for bush pig. Um, it looks like they're busy feeding, so we're just going to check the camera and see what time are they feeding, and hopefully tonight we can succeed on a bush pig. As a wild boar hunter in the States, bush pig and warthog are very interesting to me. So if the opportunity will present itself, bush pig will be high on my list. I didn't realize it's that thick and I think he went over um, one hill for them. <laughs> it was exciting to climb the hill. It kind of makes the hunt worthwhile because you're putting effort into yes, it. Yes. Day three, and all is well. Beautiful sky, beautiful sunrise. Looking forward to even more adventure than I've already had. Alright, so we've seen a, a herd of blessed buck opa. 
Let's see if we can get close. Saw a really nice ram in between. So let's go see if we can succeed. It's very breezy. Let's go see. Let's leave them there, go back to the car, we drive, there's a road going down there, we stop the car in the valley there and we walk in the thick bush and because if we go down the, yeah, they're gonna see us the whole time, so let's drive around, stop in the bottom of the valley, walk in the black wattle and see if we can, because if we go down here they're gonna see us. Um, yeah, unfortunately they gave us a slip again, but it's one of those things. But you can see how quickly the cold front's moving in. Fifteen minutes ago there was no, no clouds in the sky. Now we're covered with grey sky, so I think the cold front's going to hit us now. We can feel the temperatures drop a lot. But okay. let's go see if we can find some more things to shoot. There he stands broadside behind the bush, the one far right. Yes, the one far right on his shoulder halfway up. You hit him, hit him good, reload. Wait, 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 wait. He's second from the right. I think he's gonna go down, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, he's behind them limping. Yes. Opa, there he goes. Oh. Come, come, come. Shoot him. Let me zoom it. Just look at the steam coming out of it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
the whole the what? joy from defeat. <laughs> Look at that. The mop and then the big dewlap. Congratulations, Rupa. I thought I knew what magnificent was. This is magnificent. All right, Opa. Yes, Con sir. Congratulations on a magnificent Elon bull. Just at last light, you shot him perfectly. Broke the shoulder. You shot him just the final time. Here he is on the side of the mountains in the rainy Eastern Cape. I thought I was excited after my first African animal, the Impala, two days ago. It's a thrill to say I'm equally excited this evening with this marvelous creation of God. I thank everybody involved. All right, so yeah, it's day four. Um, it's wet and cold in the Eastern Cape. Um, both of us are after Kudu, Bushbok and Yala. So hopefully with the sun coming out now after full days of rain, we'll succeed. So let's see what happens. So yeah, with all the rain, we can't get up here. It's too muddy and too slippery. And with the big ditch on our right, we're scared we're gonna slip in there. If we slip in there, we're stuck. So we'll just turn around. So we've just seen a herd of blessed buck from the other side and we came around and we're going to snuck over the ridge. Hopefully we can see a very nice ram in there. You see the one behind the bush, there he picks his head up, he's walking to the left, up and here he comes out on the left. Far left, walking towards us. 
white, there's a female in front of him, white, 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 he's walking towards us. That's a great shot. There is dead. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even go 10 yards, but I just saw the blood pouring out of his shoulder. Yo, it's an old, old ram. Look at the age of this thing. You see how wide the horns get? My goodness. Old, 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 old. So yeah, congratulations on Thank your blessed buck. <laughs> Oh, that's exciting. And they are beautiful. Oh, yeah, they are. With their white markings. Yes, yeah, look at the, we'll look at the face now, but you can see, look here. That's of age, this whitening here is of age. You normally just, that's why we call him a blessed buck. It's because of the bless in front of the head. We spotted this, heard a blessed buck at a couple hundred yards, and since they were so uh, nervous and skittish in the past, we were happy to see that these were not alarmed. Francois was smart enough to plot an approach where we were out of sight and circled around them so that not only were we out of sight, but we were in the correct direction of the wind and behind bush to conceal our uh, silhouettes. This will be number three is honoring my family and the animal at the same time with the handmade knife that Tim did for me 30 years ago. But you have really a magnificent blessed buck ram, old, and congratulations. And Thanks. yeah, well done, great shooting. He is an old, old ram with beautiful character in the horns, beautiful color. I'm especially fond of this rust red and white, so uh, I couldn't be happier. It's a mountain red buck. Okay. We're going to roads for it, but that's a very big ram. If we can shoot it now, it's across the valley. It's going to be about 250 yards. He's better down okay. across the valley. So let's see. If you miss, we give it a go. cross on that valley in the grass so we're gonna go to the lip get you set up they feeding down there The 
Let me get you set up on him. He's looking bad to us. White, white, white. Okay, he's on the left. White, white. White. Don't shoot. Okay, he's at the back. Oh, there they go. Ah, oh, they got. Oh, it's fine. Alright, so night two in the bush pick blind. We didn't sit last night because of the weather. Let hold pumps. Um, there's really a big ball on the boat, so hopefully it comes in tonight. So let's hope for the best and see what we can get right. Just in front of the Impala, there's two jackal running. Okay, Opa, so we're gonna sit now behind this bush. If they come in, we'll just move to this gap and shoot from here. Okay. 150 yards. To what? The orange? The oranges. Oh, what a beautiful morning. You can see the sun in my face, but unfortunately clouds are coming in. We're going to ease down, cross the creek, and go up the slope on the opposite side to see if we can spot a kudu or perhaps a wildebeest before we lose the sun to the cloud cover. Hello! Hi. Your service is here, taxi service. So um, we've seen some blue wildebeest. Gonna check if there's a nice bull in. We're quite in a nice situation, so let's go see. One second from right, he's, he's looking at us, wait for him to turn. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Far left. Far left on the shoulder. I'm 
I'm not too sure. I'll tell you which one. On his shoulder, Opa. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Reload. That shot looked very good. The way he reacted, and I didn't see him come out to the right or the left, so I think he went down. He's down. Better time, or better second. Yeah, he's down. continue my new tradition of honoring the animal in our family, especially my brother. What a marvelous creation of God. They're just big, big bosses, all cracked up, horns, rock, rock solid. And this is... Mm, that's why they call the striped canoe, it's because of the stripes and that's where the blue color comes actually from if they're in the sun this gives them a blue reflection congratulations on a magnificent blue wildebeest bull um, it's really a magnificent bull all cracked up bosses very old um, so yeah well done on this brindle canoe of yours so yeah congratulations <laughs> <laughs>